So if you are like me who is not very much patient with regards to waiting especially when exporting videos in Adobe Premiere Pro, then you are in the right track as in today's video I'll be sharing with you the best export settings that you can apply onto your Adobe Premiere Pro. But before we start, just a short message from our sponsor. CDKoffers.com is an all-in-one website where you could buy licensed keys. Just simply look for whichever software games you're looking for. Click on the buy now button. I know their licensed keys are already cheap but want to make it cheaper? Simply enter DUDE20 which is an exclusive discount code that will give you a 20% discount from your purchases. Then enter your payment details and you should immediately receive the key once the payment has been confirmed. After receiving the key, you can then activate your software or games instantly. Alright, going back, let's now go to our desktop so that I can show you what to change on your Adobe Premiere Pro. Alright, now that we are on our desktop, let's now go ahead and open up first our Adobe Premiere Pro app. Next, go ahead and go to your task bar and click on Task Manager. We'll be leaving this one opened as we are going to be looking at some particular graphs later on. Go to the Performance tab and we can now go ahead and just leave this be and uh, just go ahead and minimize this one first. We're gonna go ahead and open up our project right now. So I have here on my desktop the previous project that I've published on my YouTube account. So assuming that we are already ready to export this project before we go to the export tab, we need to go first to the edit and go to preferences and go to the media. You'll be shown with all this particular settings right here and what we are interested in is this particular setting at the bottom. You can see here at the bottom H264 slash HEVC Hardware Accelerated Encoding and as you can see and as you would have noticed it's currently unchecked. So we need to check this one up and uh, as well as the decoding uh, feature right here. So once done hit the OK button and we'll have to restart our Adobe Premiere Pro app first. If you are not able to see that particular setting, you might probably have to have your Adobe Premiere Pro licensed as that particular feature might be restricted or not enabled on trial or unregistered Adobe Premiere Pro apps. So once we are able to reload our application, we can now go ahead and open up once again our project. Once done, we can now go ahead and jump to the export tab what we need to change here is first the format right here you can see here an h265 or you could also change this with h264 basically h265 will compress your files much more efficiently thus resulting with a smaller file however not all devices would support playing h265 so you're better off sticking to h264 once you've updated the format to h264 we can go ahead and expand the video tab right here and you'll be able to see various settings right here. Let's now go ahead and click on the more option right here. And we can now go ahead and scroll down and make sure to uncheck the use maximum render quality as this will basically increase much of your export time unnecessarily. We need to check under the performance settings on the encoding settings that we must set this one to hardware encoding to get the most out of our computer resources. Next, scroll down until you see the bitrate settings right here. Depending on the resolution of the video that you are exporting, let's say I'm exporting a 4K video resolution right here. So I would suggest to keep this at around 60 to 70 bitrate. However, if you are only exporting a 1080p video, go ahead and set this one only to 25 to 30. And also make sure that the bitrate encoding is set to VBR one pass. So again, since I'm exporting at 4K video resolution, I'll be setting this one to 70. That's generally almost all of the settings or the most important settings that you need to change on when exporting videos on Adobe Premiere Pro as well as, of course, the location of your video. So it's currently placed on the right folder and let's just name this as test export and go ahead and immediately hit the export button. It will now begin rendering and encoding our audio files. So you might be thinking, I actually asked you to open your task manager a while ago. So this will come in handy. We'll just put this side by side onto our rendering progress bar right here. And you could go ahead and scroll down to the bottom until you see your graphics card right here. So I have a NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 graphics card and you will be able to see here the percentage of your GPU activity. Basically, we can gauge whether our graphics card is currently being utilized by Adobe Premiere Pro 
as again by utilizing your graphics card you will be able to render out your video much much faster when compared to only using your CPU all right that's about it hopefully this works out for you as it did work out for me again it's your tech I did here see you in my next tech videos